So uh, the whole idea for this broadhead started uh, about four years ago. Um, my dad gave me a knife. Uh, it was a Gerber Freeman S30V. And, um, you know, I had been, I think I had like a buck folding knife that I bought at Walmart for $19.99. And it was some 440C steel or something like that. Nothing very special. Um, and I got this knife and I was just, I remember being amazed at how sharp it was. Um, and uh, I think I got it for my birthday in April. And then September rolls around. Um, and opening day, I take down an elk and uh, start skinning it and you know we're in the back country so we got to quarter it up and, and get ready to take it out of there and uh and debone it and um I was pretty used and accustomed to having to have a knife sharpener with me and you know you're using your buddy's knife and your knife to get through an elk and uh you know halfway through the elk i realized that the knife is still razor sharp um and uh i was pretty impressed and, and ended up making it through that entire elk without ever having to sharpen the knife and I could still shave hair off my arm by the time it was done. And that's what really sparked uh, the beginning of the idea for this broadhead was, man, this material is absolutely amazing. It needs to be used in a broadhead because the properties that it had, being able to maintain a razor sharp edge for a long time uh, and being incredibly strong, it, it fit perfectly with it. So when designing this broadhead, I came up with kind of six main guiding principles that, that needed to be in the design to make this a superior broadhead. Uh, number one on that list was it had to have outstanding flight. If you're not hitting where you're aiming at, it doesn't matter what the broadhead is, it's not going to do you any good. Um, and so when you start to think about what makes one broadhead fly better than another, a lot of it comes down to the cross sections that it has. You have the front cross section and a side cross section. So as it's flying through the air, uh, you know, the more surface area and the larger the head is, there's gonna be more drag, uh, you know, air drag on it as it's flying. And that's gonna create a better flying broadhead or a worse flying broadhead. That's why, you know, a lot of mechanicals fly better is because they have a smaller profile and cross section. Um, so to do that with a fixed blade broadhead, um, I kind of came up with a few things. One was tapered ferrule technology where we literally taper the ferrule all the way down to, to zero. Um, and that creates a very smooth transition as the air is flying over the top of it. And then secondly was to reduce the cross sections as much as possible. So that's why we've got the open vents on the side and when you look at it from that angle, um, basically we took a, a fixed blade broadhead and reduced the surface area as much as possible. Second on that list, it had to be extremely strong and durable. Um, and the only way to do that was use 100% steel, absolutely no aluminum. Um, and there's a lot of little things in the design that, uh, that may not come across when you just look at it. But uh, number one is the S30V steel that the main blade is. Uh, it's four times as strong as other steels in impact resistance tests. Um, number two, uh, we, this penetrator blade right here actually slides in to the main ferrule or to the main blade here and it locks into place by wrapping over the top of the ferrule and what this did was create basically two bridges so that the tip of this can't be bent uh, and it makes it extremely strong uh, i've done a lot of tests shooting this into steel and it it won't break um, and then we also integrated the main blade ferrule and penetrator blade together so that when you slide all three together and lock the screw down, it basically becomes one solid head. Number three on the list, it had to be razor sharp. And we did that again using S30V steel. Um, it's uh, made out of much finer grains of steel than say something like 440. And that allows it to get a lot sharper. And it also uh, allows it to hold an edge a lot longer. So. Um, through testing again, I've shot this through plywood and you could still shave hair on your arm afterwards. Um, it's really important to have a sharp broadhead, especially if you hit bone on the way in, you want the broadhead to maintain that edge as it's passing through the rest of the animal and that S30V will do that. Uh, fourth on that list, had to be, it had to be quiet in flight and whether or not that actually affects out when you're hunting and the animal, I don't know, but it drives me nuts when a broadhead is noisy. So. We did that with, again, the reduced cross sections, the less air blowing over the top of it, uh, the quieter it's gonna be. And then we have also, you'll find that there's not a single edge on here 
that's going to be perpendicular to as it's flying. Everything's at angles and, and that allows it so the air just slides over it instead of hitting into it. So number five on that list is it has to penetrate when hitting heavy objects uh, like bone, the, the shoulder blade, rib cage, etc. This is where the two blade design with the penetrator blade works. That's what it's designed to do. Um, the penetrator blade will actually just cut a hole big enough through the bone that the rest of the arrow shaft, the ferrule and the shaft can slide right through uh, with almost zero resistance. Uh, and then the two blade cut on contact design with the reinforced tip, you know, it's going to hold up. You're going to be able to get through that bone and get into the vitals and hopefully get the animal back. Another feature that helps with the penetration, uh, which goes back to flying really well, is, is the zero tapered ferrule. Um, so there's just less friction as it's passing through the bone into the tissue. Uh, and, and lastly on the list was it, it just had to be uh, superior construction. I, I wasn't going to use aluminum or thin, brittle, replaceable razor blades. Uh, everything about this from top to bottom is the highest quality materials that I could possibly find and use uh, that worked for this broadhead. There, there was a lot of thought and, and development and time that went into the design of this broadhead and it was based off these six main principles that I just talked about. It has to fly great, it has to be strong, it has to be sharp, it has to be quiet in flight, and, uh, and it has to penetrate when hitting heavy objects like bone. Um, all of these things I've designed, take in, taken into consideration, and, uh, and I feel pretty, pretty confident that I accomplished all those goals I set out to do when designing this broadhead.